Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. I hope you are well. Today I did a bit of a makeup tutorial. It's basically, basically, it's this look. Um, it's very warm, coppery, bronzy. I'm using my favorite thing ever, which is the Inglot Pigments. I love them. I'm obsessed with these things. Like, literally, it's insane. I've got it on my eyes today. So yeah, basically if you like this look and you want to know how I created it and what products I used, then just keep watching. Taking my Makeup Forever Hydrating Primer. I've been loving this stuff recently. I'm just taking a little pea size amount and rubbing that, focusing it mainly on my breakouts, but spreading the rest of the product around my skin. Now I'm taking my favourite concealer at the moment, it's the Kat Von D Lock It Concealer. I have the shade L3 Warm. Um, I love this, it's so pigmented and has, gives you so much coverage, it's amazing. I'm taking my Morphe R6 Flat Buffer Brush just to buff it in. I don't normally do a concealer before foundation, but today like my skin was just so bad. So I decided to um, give it that little bit extra coverage. Now I'm going in with my Kat Von D Lock It Foundation and a flat foundation brush. Just take one pump of this stuff. It is so pigmented. I totally forgot how good this foundation was. Um, and I'm just spreading that around my face with the foundation brush and then later I'll go in with a beauty blender to buff it in. I feel that a damp beauty blender works really well with this foundation. It really spreads out and takes any excess product off the face and just makes it look a lot more natural and pushes the product really into the skin. Going in again with that trusty Kat Von D concealer, I'm just placing this under my eyes and a little bit on my chin just to highlight my face and to give it that little bit of extra coverage, especially under the eyes, I get a little bit of dark circles. And then I'm taking my beauty blender and just pushing that into the skin and blending it all out. Now I'm going in with my Laura Mercier Translucent Setting Powder and an oval shaped fluffy brush. Just taking a bit of the product and tapping off any excess and patting that into the skin before I do some swiping motions just to dust away any excess product um, and to just blend it into the skin. My, I, my skin just looks so smooth wherever I've applied that powder. I love it. It's amazing. Then I'm going in with my Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in medium brown. This stuff is so good. Um, but first I'm just going to brush through my brows and then take this small, very thin brush and take a tiny bit of product. This stuff goes a long way as well and it's super pigmented. I love it. I don't really tend to extend my brows much or like play with the shape. I follow the natural shape of my brow. I just fill in and make it darker and a little bit more crisp and defined. And this product does such an amazing job. Now I'm taking the very well known Morphe 350 palette. Look at them colours. I love the warm tones. I was just taking a really light, um, warm, peachy kind of shade and just building that up in the crease as my transition colour. Now I'm just taking a warm, more chocolatey kind of brown and I'm placing that in the exact same spot just through my crease and blending it out just to build up the intensity of the colour and add more depth to the eye. Now I'm taking a H&M crease blending brush. I love this to apply and really pack on the product. I'm taking a deeper, more darker um, cool tone brown and rubbing, rubbing? <laughs> blending that into the crease, focusing more on the outer corner of the eye and just keep blending and blending and blending. Now I'm 
Now I'm just taking a Sephora Pro Blending Brush just to blend out them colours, make them look seamless and beautiful as always. And just to make sure like there's no harsh edges on the outer of the eye. Next I'm going with this super vibrant orangey shade, just to add more warmth and a little bit more colour into the crease. And yeah, I'm just building that up. I'm always making sure that every time I add product or a colour to the eye, I'm always blending it out before I apply another layer just to make sure it's like a really nice smooth gradient and the lines are really soft and it's just buffed off, buffed off, <laughs> buffed out really well. Next I'm taking a deeper chocolatey shade and focusing this in the outer third of my eye, just putting it in like a triangle kind of shape. Um, just to again build the intensity of the color and make it look a lot more smoky This wouldn't come as a shock to you, but now we're gonna blend <laughs> Literally all my footage was me blending eyeshadow colors like it's insane how much time I spend just blending out those shades Now it's for the showstopper, the Inglot Pure Pigments. This is in shade 63. I'm just taking a flat eyeshadow brush and spraying it with my Fix Plus. Oh my god, I can't even deal. I love these things so much. If you know me in person, you've probably heard me talk about these. So I'm sorry if you have to listen to this. But I love it. Look how reflective they are. And that's all of them. Like, it's literally become my new obsession. I'm just applying the pigment in the center of the eyelid and using whatever product I have left on the brush just to spread it around into the other colors that we applied before. Here I'm going in with a defined blender brush and that same peachy shade that we used before and just applying that under the lower lash line. Now I'm going in with that bright orange shade and just applying that under the lower lash line as well and just building up the colour and intensity. Now I'm taking that dark chocolatey brown shade that we applied in the outer third of our eye and just doing the same on the lower lash line. Now I'm just taking a fluffy blending brush and just using that to buff out all the colours and any harsh lines that we've created. Now going in with my trusty Kat Von D shade and light contour palette, I'm just taking these two shades here and I'm using a fluffy brush just to blend them into my cheeks. Now I'm going in with my favourite bronzer of all time, it is the Benefit Hula Bronzer and I'm just dusting that over the same places we just applied our contour.
Now I'm going in with my Laura Geller Gilded Honey Highlighter. This is so beautiful. It's a beautiful gold, shimmery, gorgeous highlight. I love it. Like, look at it. Now I'm going in with my Chi Chi Double Trouble Eyeliner. Um, I'm just going to do a really thin line. I do not want to mess this makeup up at all. So just keeping it nice and simple and minimal. So these are the lashes I'm applying. They are the Socialize Minx 2.0 lashes. I love these. I will leave a link down below for you guys to go check them out. Um, and now I'm just applying some Too Faced mascara to my bottom and top lashes. I really love the look of these lashes. Now I'm going in with my favourite liquid lipstick. It is the Kat Von D liquid lipstick in the shade Bow and Arrow. I'm just applying this to my lips. I think it's just a perfect nudie brown kind of shade. Not too pink. Um, not too light either, it's just the perfect kind of brown. So that's it, that's the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed it, I really had fun creating it. If you did like this video, please like and subscribe to my channel for more videos. And I will see you next time.